Hey everybody, welcome back to another Oiko Eco random video. Today we're going to be using the GoPro to make a surveillance system. And in this case today I'm going to be using it to uh, create a modified baby monitor. So I'll show you how. So some of the things you're going to need, of course, is the GoPro. This is a GoPro 3 Plus uh, Silver Edition. You're going to need um, a housing assembly, not the waterproof kind, but a housing assembly with a threaded uh, end for the uh, the tripod or some sort of uh, uh, monopod. Uh, and you're also going to need it to also uh, be able to charge. You'll also need um, some sort of tripod or something to attach the GoPro to. In this case, I've got a Joby uh, Gorilla Pod. I really like this because it's just really it's really universal. It can almost do anything. Um, so I've got this that we'll use. Uh, we'll also be needing to uh, keep a continuous supply of power to the GoPro because one of the things that you need for a surveillance system or for some sort of monitoring camera is you need it to be charged for a really long length of time. Just one battery is not going to do it for you. So we've got this USB extension cord um, and we're going to connect uh, that to the camera and that extension cord is going to be plugged into the wall. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the camera. Uh, we're going to set this up going into the camera settings uh, to record at 1080p at 60 frames a second. Uh, and then we're also going to set it up so that it's looping, so that it has a continuously, uh, it's continuously recording at 60 minute uh, intervals. And then we're going to turn on the Wi-Fi, or at least make sure that the Wi-Fi setting is enabled. And at this time, it's also probably pretty good to go into your settings and turn off the sounds and turn off the LED. Here we're turning off the LED so that there are no lights or no sounds because obviously if you want to try to make this as inconspicuous as possible, if it's a some sort of security camera or some sort of a, uh, a monitoring system, you don't want to have a whole lot of, uh, draw a whole lot of attention to the camera. And so here it is, all set up. It's in the housing. It's attached to the Joby Gorilla Pod and the, uh, the the charging adapter and the extension USB cord are all connected together. So uh, now I think we're ready to go attach it uh, to uh, the crib. Okay, so here we are. We're standing right next to my daughter's crib and we're going to attach this in such a way so that it's angled down to face into the crib. Uh, our former baby monitor uh, bit the dust and so we're going to give this a try and see if this works. So here I am attaching it to the back of the crib. Gonna angle it down. It looks good. There it is. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to connect the charging adapter and uh, make sure it's plugged into the wall so it has a continuous uh, supply of power. Beautiful. So now with the Wi-Fi turned on on the camera, you can use a tablet or your smartphone. Here I'm using a, an iPad. You can use that to f download the GoPro app to where you can watch what the camera is recording in real time. Um, so here we are looking down at the bed. Everything looks nice. So that's a pretty sweet feature of the camera here. So let's test it out. Here we have one of our suspects sitting in the crib. This is my older daughter. The audio sounds pretty good. That's pretty cool. Alright, now let's check it out at night. Obviously we're not going to be leaving the lights on in the house all day and all night. So let's turn the lights off. And it's not very good. Um, there's not really a very good low light setting on this camera. Let's see what happens when we use a night light in the room. And when we use a night light in the room, things look a lot better. You can see everything. There's my daughter. All right. So there you have it, folks. This is a customized GoPro baby monitor system. I hope you liked it. 
and I hope it gave you some ideas or some inspiration for some sort of monitoring system of your own. Obviously, if you were to use this for some sort of surveillance system, you probably wouldn't want it just sitting on some Joby Gorilla Pod exposed out in the open like this. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to test it out just to see if it was possible and to see if, uh, you know, things could record successfully. And it does. A couple of cool things about this is that you can use the Wi-Fi or the wireless uh, signal within the camera to control it with your either iPhone, smartphone, or tablet. Um, and you can choose to record or not to record um, to save space or whatever you choose to do. Um, a couple of bad things or some setbacks are that um, it's not very good at low light conditions. You would have to get an adapter or some other lens. Uh, to be able to record at low light conditions or upgrade to a better GoPro. I'm using a GoPro 3 Plus Silver Edition and I do believe that the GoPro 3 Plus Black or even the GoPro Hero 4 has better uh, low light uh, capabilities. So that's something worth considering there. But this is a pretty quick setup and another pretty cool way to use your GoPro uh, to see if you can set up uh, some sort of surveillance system. Thanks for watching.